Getting Started Guide, Happy Home Buying. I am your host, Tiffany Hayes, and I will be helping you holding your hand through this entire home buying process. Let's jump right in. Are you ready to buy a home? Now, this decision is a personal decision. And so whether you're trying to keep up with the Joneses or this is a very functional need, you have a growing family, you need more bedroom, it's completely up to you. There's no right or wrong reason to want to buy a home. So this is a no judgment zone. But if you're ready to buy a home, I can certainly help. Also, let me say there is no master alarm clock that tells you when the right time is for you. So those are things that we can talk through. Now, whether you're going to rent or own, it's a lifestyle decision. And it's also an economic decision about money. You just need to weigh your priorities and be clear on the season of life that you're in. If you're still moving around and exploring different neighborhoods or your job moves you a lot, leasing really may be the best thing for you. But if you enjoy stability and fixed monthly payments and you enjoy taking up roots in a community, then home buying may be a better choice, but you need to be true to yourself in your season in life. Now, very important, let's do a financial checkup and I'm gonna get this out the way from the beginning. It costs money to buy a home. And some people that come from a leasing background are just not prepared with the upfront cost that is involved with home ownership. However, let me say this, and I want you to hear me say, even if you don't have $20,000 saved up in the bank, you can still own a home. Why? Because there are programs, state, federal, local programs that have funding assistance for you to buy a home. Some of it is income driven. Some of these stipulations are a lot more flexible on, on income. You'll have to talk to me about what catch there may be, but I have helped people buy homes who have less than $5,000 in their bank account, even less than $1,000 in their bank account, okay? So it is possible. It's about knowing the right questions to ask and having the right conversations. Now, mortgage lenders are going to use several factors or formulas to determine your lending risk, your debt to income ratio, how much you make versus how much you spend out your loan to value ratio, your credit, uh, how much you have in terms of assets. They're gonna collect your tax returns, your pay stubs, your bank statements, and any other information that they feel that's gonna help them determine your risk. Because if you're not putting up all the money, then they have a risk of lending to you. And the amount of risk you are determines uh, what your terms and your rates will be. So I always say what one lender won't do, another lender will do. So it's so important that you compare. Really, at least three lenders would be great for you to compare terms. But even before you talk to a lender, I strongly suggest that you know your own financial goals and you be true to your own fiscal objectives, to thine own self be true, even before you speak with the lender and that will help guide your decision. Now, the home buying process, it's pretty straightforward. There's a lot of little nuances involved. Um, and even though uh, several people, multiple people may be going through the same process, they could have very different experiences. So it really is great to work with a a good, good, good and great realtor to help navigate this process with you. Hint, hint. Step one, enlist the help of a great realtor. Step two, get pre-approved for financing before you go shopping for a home. Step three, then begin your home search. Step four, place your offer and negotiate. That's where that great realtor comes in. Step five, Open escrow and order title. Step six, the option period. Step seven, comply with lender requirements. Step eight, research homeowner's insurance and home warranty. Step nine, do a final walkthrough before closing. And step 10, that's your celebration day, your happy closing day. I look forward 
to breaking these steps down and explaining them in a lot more detail in, in future sessions with you. Now, I'm a sports fan, so I like to call the team that helps you get to your finish line of home ownership. I like to affectionately refer to this team as your all-star team, and I would love to be on your all-star team. So successful home buying starts with putting together the right all-star team. Your team can set you up for a smooth and wonderful experience or a very painful experience, like getting your tooth pulled. And I say that because all teams are not created equally. So the end result is that you get a house, but what did you have to go through to get that home, okay? So use your people and use your team. You need to choose people that you trust, their knowledge and their experience, and that you have chemistry with because you're gonna be working with them over the next couple of months, maybe. And so you need to know that you can pick up the phone and call them or text them and get a response back. Customer service is everything. But don't be afraid to reach out because your team, I'm gonna go ahead and put myself in there. We are here to help you succeed in your home buying journey and take stress off your plate and make it as smooth and as a happy experience as possible. That will be your real estate agent, your mortgage lender, your inspector, and the title company or attorney if you're using one. And finally, choosing your home. Now this is the part that everybody likes and the part that everyone wants to jump right into. They like choose their home first and then they do everything else second. So not quite the right order. You know, people typically make an emotional decision to buy a home and then they use their logic to justify their emotional decision. And I get it because we're all human. But the fact is that buying a home is a very emotional process. And that's why it's important to be level-headed and use a level-headed realtor to help you navigate these quote unquote emotional waters. So you have to decide, you and whatever other decision makers involved must decide before you buy where your priorities lie. So is it more important to have extra cash to pay down your mortgage? You're gonna be a little bit more conservative in your purchase, or you want all the bells and whistles. Let's throw in that in-ground swimming pool in the backyard. Is it more important to buy a top of the line, state of the art, brand new construction, beautiful home at top market price? Or maybe you buy a home a few blocks over. It's not the fanciest house on the street, but it will definitely do the job. And the benefit is that it can have built in equity and may appreciate a little bit faster. I don't know, every situation is different. You have to do the math, but it is your decision. You have to know your needs versus your wants. Needs are something that could be a deal breaker. The number of bedrooms could be a deal breaker. A two-story house could be a deal breaker. The commute to work could be a deal breaker, but you need to know those before you begin to shop. Also, those things that disguise themselves as needs, they're called wants. Wants are more flexible. If that home has carpet and you want hardwood floors, you can change that. If you really wanted a home office, but there's a game room there, change the game room to a home office. There are things that you can do functionally to make a house work for you. If your dream kitchen is all white, then do small renovations and make the kitchen white. In other words, there's needs that are deal breakers and then there's wants that can be creatively implemented in the home if they're not present upon purchase. So I am here to guide you through your journey and to help you make smarter home buying decisions but before you even talk to me, you need to be true to yourself and true to yourself financially, especially before you speak with that lender. I would love to be your guide and help you through your happy home buying journey. My name is Tiffany Hayes. I'm with Tiffany Hayes Real Estate Group, and I would love to welcome you to your new home because you deserve it.